Oh, hello all. It is still my channel. I am still me. Um, I have... I was sick, then I was depressed, then I was angry, then I yelled in a small Swedish person's face. Not a child, but a small person. That... What far do har, on do vil inte lära engelska, what far kommer du till classroom it? Uh, so it's been, it's been a wild ride. I apologize for not updating regularly. I will try to update regularly. I'm actually going to probably document my writing process here about NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, which I am participating in. The plan for NaNoWriMo is you're supposed to write 1,666 words every day in November, and by the end of it, you will have a 50,000 word novel. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to write about 600 words a day, at least, so that I can keep up ish. Yes, cats. But I wanted to come back to the channel and I wanted to give it the attention it deserves. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, friend utility. Um, I often have to, to make myself be understood better, to explain to people everybody expresses care differently. Um, you know, some people hug, some people keep your secrets, some people help you hide, hide bodies, some people are there for you when you desperately need it, and some people make you cookies. Different people show love in different ways. For me, I like to find something... Ow, violets! I like to find something in common that I have with a friendly person, and I like to talk to them about the thing we have in common. I like to get into it and be able to discuss interesting things that they're into and that I'm also into because I have lots of interest and most people have less interest than I do. Unfortunately, this sometimes leads to a gap because I'll have three or four interests that I just have nobody to talk to about. Uh, notable exception, uh, notable examples being uh, ElfQuest, a comic book from the uh, 80s and 90s that was huge and super important to my intellectual development. But because it's a comic book and because it has the suggestion of adult themes, lots of people aren't that into it. Also, Gru, G-R-O-O, -O, not the character from the animated, uh, 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 I don't remember what it's called. Something about being bad. Uh, in, oh, Despicable Me. Not that Gru, a different one. Uh, who was a swordsman who had two swords and by accident did the right thing all the time. Kind of a fascinating character for me, but again, nobody to really talk to about it. <sighs> but lots of our friends, they show their friendship through things like utility. Through being able to talk about something different. Through being able to be there when you have a lot of trouble. Bringing you some little sweet or some little thing that, you, that means a lot to you. Uh, especially if you have people who are friends who are on the spectrum. Uh, a lot of people, their love language is different. And so they will be showing you that they care about you in a way that you don't really necessarily understand. And I know a lot of people, and even I've made some friends recently, who aren't very good at expressing their appreciation, like in words. So they'll come sit closer to you. Or they'll give you all of their attention when usually they're locked into their phone. Or they'll talk to you about stuff they don't talk to other people about. So, in recognition of all of that, I really just want to say how thankful I am. I'm incredibly lucky to have so many people that I'm able to share so much with. There are some people that I've upset, uh, especially recently. I was talking about Thanksgiving with a very, very lovely uh, teenager who I was talking about how we, we prefer to think of Thanksgiving as just some time when you're thankful and you appreciate what you have. And she tried to turn it into something religious. And for her, that was an incredibly sweet thing. She was trying to share, oh, you thank God for everything. And I'm like, not God per se. 
a greater than us thing, but I'm nervous to call it God specifically because that implies a belief structure. And I could just see her that her little heart broke and her face fell and she was just like, oh, another one of them. And it, it just sucked because she lost that utility. She lost the ability to trust me uh, because I was one of the godless. And that just sucks because I'm not really one of the godless. I just don't want to define it in other people's terms. Anyway, there are lots and lots of people out there who have a different love language than you. And if you are watching this and you trust me, and you may or you may not, I don't know, I want you to think about it. I want you to think about people in your life and the things that they do special just for you. There's little special things that people might do in your life that you've never really thought about the fact that they don't do them for everybody else, they do them just for you. Because for a lot of people, and a lot of people are undiagnosed, but a lot of people on the spectrum and also not on the spectrum. Man, my face looks wonky right now. Is it because I had all week? Ugh. Anyway, but there are lots of people who, because they can't express themselves well socially or because they're not able to tell you without it being weird, either like, I love you because not everybody is my student, and so I love you, my teacher. Um, not everybody is able to say that they love somebody else. Quite a few of us express it best through, oh, they know that you really like this thing and you like talking about this thing. So they're going to let you talk about this thing and they're going to be interested. Or they're going to remember that you really, really love this one thing for Fika and they'll bring it to you. Or they'll just remember that it's your birthday or it's the anniversary of something or you just lost your pet or something that they remember about you. We all show our love and the meaning that others have for us in different ways. And it's kind of cool to acknowledge that. It's kind of cool to let people know that we know that they're important. Now, I don't mean call them out on it. Some people really don't like to be called out on loving other people. There are a lot of people who are really uncomfortable with sentiment in general. But think about the people who do something for you and what they're doing special that's just for you because that's worthy of note that's worth your time give them attention to it and maybe think about doing something for them it doesn't have to be telling them that you love them although if that's your thing go for that doesn't need to be a hug doesn't need to be anything like overt you can be subtle about it you can be subtle enough to make sure that oh they ran out of this thing and you happen to have some or making sure they make it to class on time or whatever it is that you do for the people that you care about. But think about the people that you care about because they are the point. There's lots of other things we could be doing, but none of it's really worth as much as the people we care. I know it's cold, Violet. I promised it would be warm and I lied because I'm a horrible father. Uh, but think about the people who you love and who are doing stuff for you because sometimes that's their way of showing love. So before you dismiss the fact that somebody cares about you just because they don't ever do anything that you like, realize that they might be telling you in their own words in a different way that they care about you. Cool? Cool. Uh, this was the end of a video and hopefully I will be doing these a little more regularly. Beep boop.